Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Limited supply of what I normally run uh, going this week for week 7 that I wanted to run, so decided to do a another road race in a series I have not done before. We are running the Radical Challenge series on the Radical SR8. It is a open cockpit car that Honestly, it's a lot more fun than I expected to do. I'm absolutely terrible at it, but it's a lot of fun to drive. It's a, I guess, kind of an open cockpit sort of prototype car, if I have that right. You can feel free to leave comments for how much I screw up what the car is exactly or where it came from. Um, I guess it's kind of similar to the Spec Racer 4 that I was running. Just it's a right-hand drive and definitely has a lot more power. Uh, but the grip this thing has is just ridiculous. Um, at least for me, for the limited bit of road racing I've run, uh, it's got a, a lot of grip and you can definitely uh, drive the thing into the corners pretty deep and, and get it to stick. So um, it, it still has enough power and enough limit to uh, definitely let you know when you've got on it too hard. You can uh, easily loop it off the corners by getting in the throttle too hard. And no landing lock brakes, so you can definitely lock them up too, which I'm sure I will do at some point. Um, and top speed, it, it's still lower horsepower car, so top speed compared to some of the, you know, the faster road cores is, is, is not going to be there, but it's a, uh, it is an absolute blast. We've got quite a few cars starting from pit road. I chose not to qualify in order to, uh, try to avoid any of the problems that were going to happen. As you can see, one car is just already going all over the place. We've got cars wrecking everywhere, so I'm just going to completely stop and get by them. This is just, wow, that was like the craziest start I've ever seen. Um, yeah, gonna end up way, way, way back, but it was, uh, worth it to just get off and, and get by. You can see three more cars are already parked, so, uh, might have lost some spots, but might have also gained some spots off that start, so 16 laps here, just, uh, gonna try to do the best I can to keep it clean, keep the car going in the right direction, not, uh, loop it off the corners and not slide the, uh, tires getting into the corners, then I should be in a decent spot to, uh, at least come away with something. I do not have the pace to keep up with anybody in the front. Um, if I would have run a qualifying time, it probably would have been two to two and a half seconds off. I just, I, for as deep as you can drive them, I'm just not driving it deep enough because I'm not used to them. Um, just wanted to uh, kind of get through the start and uh, stay out of everybody's way, which is why I chose not to qualify. So, yeah, we'll see where we uh, sort out. If, um, you know, this goes decent, I don't know if I'll buy any of the tracks for the rest of this season, but if it's something that goes well and you guys enjoy it, I may honestly run maybe almost a full season, or, or quite a few, depending on what the tracks are. Uh, this thing is, is definitely a lot of fun. I I don't know if it's I'm having fun with it because it's something different, if it's because of how the car is, if it's just because of being here at Watkins Glen. Um, you know, this being a, a lot faster of a, a road course compared to some other ones that are that are more technical, but it's uh, it's definitely given me something to enjoy, um, even though I uh, am not doing very well at it. So should have downshifted. Eight looks like he was going into pit road, so we'll see where we sort out. Coming to the checker or coming start finish line for the first lap, all the way up to 11. So. Go all the way up from 18th to 11th, and as you can see, I was—I think there's 24 cars in the split, so um, it's definitely—I bet you it's probably a third or fourth split. Um, but I was car number 15 out of 24, so picked up seven spots off the start and four spots ahead of where I'm supposed to finish up. So uh, yeah, maybe I made the right call for my own sanity of, of not starting. Hoping that it's not going to be too boring of a race that I'll uh, try to be able to catch like the 17 or, or somebody to be able to make it a little more enjoyable for you guys other than just a uh, glorified practice session with dodging wrecks, but certainly going to uh, do the best that I can. Probably see smoke in some of the corners, people locking it up. I'm sure I'm going to do it at some point. That's probably one of the bigger things for me to make sure that I don't do. Um, in terms of sections, I, I'm obviously with how slow I am, I'm blowing every sections, but the ones that I really feel like I cannot get time that I, I consistently watch myself lose time through is the carousel, 
and uh, part of this boot section here, I just always run really bad. And it, and it amazes me how much faster I can push here through uh, 10 and 11 of these, or excuse me, 11 and 12, these two corners. It's just amazing how much grip the car has and, and how much I can do. With it being a C-Class, uh, there are no fast repairs, so anybody that gets damaged ends up sitting on pit road and you can... I guess it kind of helps keep some people get from fast repairs and, and getting back out there and being in the middle of everything, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure I'm probably going to have to go in the pit road at some point, but... Just going to keep riding. 17's pulling away, but I don't know if he has the benefit of the 19 for a draft. Draft definitely does play an effect in these cars here. Uh, it makes a big difference to lap times, so I, I've seen most guys pick up a second or so in terms of their uh, race pace compared to their qualifying times. Try to find the cleanest way around the 23. He gives me the inside line into the corner. Thank you to him. Just gonna make sure I clear him in the mirror before I get going. Fine with whatever time I lost in the 17. Just want to get around this as safely as possible. Keep the car in one piece clean see if i can get through this without any incident points and hopefully come away with a decent finish uh, i would say on a standing start that was a bit more rough than a rolling start could have been we've got one person off the track so we're going to try to watch out for him coming back on the track and he actually does come back and clip me so i thought i was clear of him should have stayed a little bit further to the inside uh fortunately no zero x but two x still wouldn't be bad wasn't much I could really do there. That was actually the 9. Hopefully it didn't cause too much damage to the left rear. Although I'm probably slow enough to not be able to tell much of a difference in the damage. That did allow the 17 to pull away a little bit further, but it does put me up to 10th, which is nice. I'm still taking it a bit easy in some of these sections just to avoid the... Uh, off tracks and make sure that I don't run, uh, you know, too hot or, or loop it or anything like that. I'd rather give up some time and be slower than, uh, you know, loop it and end up getting clobbered by somebody or way in the back. Getting used to the uh, reception of right-hand drive as well. I know in theory it shouldn't be too hard to do considering everything else I drive is left-hand drive with the exception of when I have run the spec racer Ford. So, um... You know, it shouldn't be all that hard, it's just for me coming from a, a stock car, an oval background and everything being left-hand drive, this is uh, definitely a little bit different for me, but not making any excuses, just uh, something that I need to learn how to do if I want to run these more. I think it kind of causes me to uh, not push the car out quite as wide as I could on certain spots because I don't want to run the risk of going off track. But this car is so much fun. Yellow flag, watch out. Uh, extra downshift, they're able to save the car from going around. Looks like the 17 might have had a problem, possibly. Yeah, closed down quite a bit to him, so we'll see if he's got any damage or if he goes to pit road or if it's just a simple spin. Nine seems like he might be closing up a bit, so if he gets back to me, I'll easily let him by. We'll see what the gap does over the next lap. It's 1.5 at the line. I don't really have any reason to try to contend positions with anybody if they're catching me. Not a great lap. If I get in the 142s, I'll be happy with that without having the draft. Also, still having a time trying to learn what's the best shift point uh, going from 5th to 6th up through the S's to keep the run going. We'll try to see if I can drive a little bit better than the 17 and catch him. Not sure what kind of lap times he's running. He was pulling away from me, so I would assume he's faster, but not sure if he uh, damaged the car at all or if he heated up tires too much. Just having so much fun with this car. It is an absolute blast to drive. I think it's definitely difficult enough that there is plenty of uh, skill gap to be found, but I think it's easy enough that somebody with just reasonable driving skills can 
at least get it around the track. Like, it's not so difficult that you're going to be losing it every single corner you go. But there's uh, obviously plenty of skill difference uh, when you've got somebody like the Nine who spun had damage and is still catching me. So, but definitely a lot to master out of it for sure. But with it being a fixed series, um, makes it a little bit easier for me since I don't have as much time to develop the road, let alone learn the setups. I would like to move into open setup stuff eventually, but um, just makes it a little bit easier for me to, to just focus on driving and learning that than you know having to, to find a setup that might make it easier for me to drive as well. Setup is only one piece of it, but if you get the wrong setup, it can definitely take a car that was easier to drive and, and turn it very difficult quickly. So, looks like we're keeping about even with the 17 now. Nine is definitely catching me, so I will uh, certainly let him go if he gets to me. I'm guessing that'll put us back to 11th at that point, but not a big deal. 11th is still far, far better than I expected to be. trying to slowly learn as I can, see if I can pick up time in any sections, get a little bit better at the track. Nothing else than I uh, I know I learned as the, as the race went. Okay, Jake. Hold your oh, oh. that was a spot there where I got on the crowd a little too early and almost spun. It was able to just start feeling a little bit and stop it, so feels the momentum off the corner, unfortunately, but that's uh, something I'm trying to learn here is the warning signs of it when it's getting ready to go. Yeah, I definitely feel pretty bad that the 9's got a messed up rear wing and who knows what other damage on the car and he's still able to catch me by that much. That definitely tells you how slow I am, but I do not protest to be good at road racing at all and I'm just out here having fun trying to learn. I would like to be good at road racing at some point, but it's certainly going to uh, take me quite a bit of time to do that. You've just done a 142, I'm four. Far lower on the 142s than I thought. Maybe I can uh, find a way to get into a 141 before the end of the race without the benefit of the draft. Nine looks like he might have either backed off or had a little bit of an issue through turn one. He's going to catch a big draft, though, I'm sure, down the back stretch and close up quite a bit. Don't think he's close enough to uh, try to do anything through the bus stop, but. Just need to be cognizant of where he's at and uh, try to find the best place to let him by when he gets closer. Really wish I would have discovered this series a little bit sooner, try driving a bit sooner. This is so much fun. If I can find a track that's a little bit shorter than I have uh, the rest of the season, I, I definitely may try to do that and see how the car compares. Because I am having a lot of fun with this. Nine was kind of looking to the right side. Looks like he backed out a little bit. That's probably not the best spot for him to go. Looks like he backs out a little bit, thinks wiser of it. If he was going to take it, I certainly would have let him by, but that's not the spot I would have wanted to let him by. Lost a lot of time through 11 there. Not sure how much I'll be able to make up through 12. Get a good run off of 12. It will definitely be a faster lap. Not quite there to the 141 yet, but certainly better. Picking up ever so slightly on the 17. And I drive it way off the track. There's the off track, so we're just going to let the 9 by now. Unfortunately, not the 2X. 3X is still not bad for me, though. Just have to uh, see if I can follow the 9. He'll pull away from me, but if I just hang with him and try to learn, uh, that'll that'll be beneficial. Just lifting and, and backing off a bit early, let him go into the bus stop. A little reason to push there. Just trying to stay behind him and study as much as I can, see what I can learn out of it. Even if a driver wrecks sometimes that they're, they're that much faster, there's got to be a, uh, a spot that they are doing right. So even if I can learn one thing from them, that was uh, beneficial to me. 
So that's why I try to study everybody because, you know, even some of the guys that overall are not good uh, can easily still have something that they're doing better than, than I am, so. It's all stuff I try to learn, soak in, especially when it's something like this road racing that I'm so new at and not very good at. Definitely could see the difference he takes through uh, 11 there, although he might have overshot it. A little bit of a slower lap, but that was uh, pretty much all attributable to the uh, the first section. Mostly turn one, which I almost overshoot again, but able to keep it on track. Funny thing is, I'm. About the same amount of time as the uh, to the uh, 17 as I had been before, so I think that's the difference in having the draft out of the nine, and he's uh, running a bit faster, so it's allowing me to close up to the 17. We're halfway through, so we might be able to get to the 17 before the end of the race. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'm certainly going to do my best to try to catch back up to the nine. See if I can just uh, follow him all the way up through. All I'm really looking to do is just follow him to get to the 17 and try to get by. Oh, just barely saved myself from an off track there. Picked up the throttle a little too early there. Just gotta try to clean up and quit overdriving quite so much. Felt like I might have entered a little too fast there. Stopwatch doesn't say so, but feeling of the car did. Fortunately, I'm a bit disappointed that I can't be close enough and driving good enough to take advantage of the draft to get me to a 141. I'm still going to be in the 142s, but it's uh, overall not too bad. Definitely catching the 17. Catch a little bit too much of the curbing, get a little too far off there. Again, kind of followed the 9 doing the same thing, so unfortunately another 1x, but just going to try to clean it up as best as I can. Catching up to the 9, still going to sit behind him. Again, I, I know I'm not faster, so I don't see any reason to pass yet. I mean, maybe depending on the last lap, how I feel, may try to set up a pass, but... Um, overall, not too worried about it. Kind of backed out a little bit on the bus stop, but I can still see he's just way faster through the bus stop than I am. Keeping about the same pace with the 17, so... Not sure if we can actually get to the 17 or not, because I think the 9's probably driving about as hard as he can. It just looks like he's still making mistakes and uh, obviously fighting whatever damage is affecting him from the rear end. But gonna have six laps to go next time by, so still very possible that uh, could try to catch the 17 before the end of it. I think there's uh, plenty of spots here to set up a pass. I pick up the throttle a little too early there. This car starts to get loose, able to save it. Loses me time to the nine. Not sure if I'll be able to close back up to him. Still keeps me about even with the 17. Probably got a little too slow there through 12. It cost me a little bit of time. Trying to stay off the curb on the inside of turn one, see if I can do a little better through there. Slowly picking up time to my fastest lap. I'm trying to take advantage of the draft and see if I can gain a lot more, get into the 141s. It's kind of an inflated way to do it, doesn't really show that I'm actually personally driving better, but I'll try to take advantage of it while I can. Not sure if the line the nine's taking through the bus stop is the most optimal. I still lose a ton of time through the carousel there. I'm still struggling with that section. I feel like I might be picking up the throttle a little too much and probably need to use a little more trail brake through the corners. It's just not good enough right now to do that. I'm 
Try not to lose it off the corner at all. Definitely gaining a lot of time now on the uh, 17. You can see that gap's cut down quite a bit. Just slow down a little bit more through that section. Give up a little time in that sector so far, but makes me feel a little more comfortable and a little more consistent. Almost borderline lost it again. Oh, clipped the curb way too much, able to save it. Lost all the time off the corner, so it was gaining a ton and just completely lost it there. Not think I was going to uh, do that much by, by clipping the curve that way, but glad I was able to keep it pretty much in the right direction and uh, thankfully had a big enough gap back to the 18 that it wasn't like I had a car right on top of me getting into me. Just gotta clean it up now, try to uh, reset, see if I can claw my way back to the 9. Five laps to go. Gonna be a tall, tall task to uh, try to get to the 17, but. Maybe I can be close enough to the 9 to keep taking advantage of the draft and try to close up a little bit. Seems like the uh, 9 is definitely catching the 17, so... Let's see if I can try to get hooked back up with his draft and try to help that gap. Might be too far now, though, from the 9 to, to be able to take advantage of anything. That was just all on me. Big mistake there through uh, turn 12 last lap. a little too early I feel like and the 17 actually loses it so don't need to worry about trying to claw back there able to get him to see if I can get back to the nine because like I said if I can get to the nine and, and have the shot to uh, set up a last lap pass and then stay in front of him I I can try to do that I don't know if I'll be fast enough to get to him but certainly going to try my best we've got another car around so there's another free spot that I didn't expect so I can actually put me into ninth now. Make sure to stay off of the curb that time through 12. We should be able to run a uh, 141. Not that it's very good, but... Ah, uh, pushed it way too wide. There's another off track. Just flat out overdrove the corner. Stupid mistakes. Stupid, stupid mistakes on my part. But, again, i not very good at road racing, so should expect uh, a lot of stupid mistakes out of myself and just be happy when I have less mistakes than the last one, so. I feel like I'm probably not taking a wide enough arc into the carousel. Maybe need to apex it a little bit later. Don't think I'll be able to get to the 9, but certainly going to keep digging, try to give you guys something exciting to watch. I think we're probably running about an even pace or so now, with me having the uh, draft behind him. But, we'll check the gap at the line to see if I can uh, close it down at all. I'll have 3 to go next time by, so... Not many laps, but... Uh, Plenty of corners and plenty of time to try to do something. I don't think he's gonna make a mistake, but you never know. It's far more likely that I'm gonna be the one to make the mistake. Pulls up a little bit that time out of 12. 1.7 at the line. Just gonna make sure I don't overshoot turn one. I'd rather run a little bit slower, give up some time to him to get another off track and lose it all together. Gordon Kirchhoff sounds like closing up ever so slightly. Don't know if it's gonna be enough. I'm obviously gonna need to uh, chop the gap pretty much in half and get to like 0 0.8, 0 0.9 by the end of this lap to have any kind of shot, but certainly going to do my best, even if I can't get by him, it'll be kind of a pride thing saying that I can take advantage of the draft and try to get to him, although that pride should be dashed pretty quickly knowing that he is uh, as damaged as he is and probably would be far quicker in leaving me 
in my dust if I, uh, if he wasn't damaged. Pick up the rattle just a hair too early. The car almost wanted to rotate around, so had to let off a little bit. Bit too wide there on the corner. Not too bad overall. Definitely feel like I'm getting closer to taking advantage of this draft now. Lap's gonna be much faster given the draft and uh, got it down to about 1.1, so don't think it'll be quite enough to be able to set up the last lap pass, but certainly gonna do my best with two to go. At this point, given how much the draft's helping me now, I really want to try to get a lap time into the 140s. And it's uh, certainly possible with the draft, given how much it pulls, especially down the back stretch. Two to go, or really about a lap and a half now. That's just a section I feel like I can take even faster than I was doing at the start of the race as I'm learning the grip level. Car just claws for more grip through the bus stop. It's absolutely insane. If this is half of what a Formula 1 car does for grip, I just would be astounded at how amazing that car would be to drive. Getting on the carving a little too much, but overall still did the same thing there. Pickled throughout a little too early, almost over-rotated, able to save it, but it kills all the momentum off the corner. I feel like my problem too is when I pick up the throttle part way to, to get through the corners, I'm just picking up too much and I need to use a little bit less. And it'll help me keep the car going but not push out quite as much as I'm doing. Uh, I get a bit too wide there, had to lift to stay off the wall. Still gain time, but it's not going to be enough to be able to set up anything. Although a ninth place finish in this field is not going to make me feel too bad given that. I really have not run these cars at all in very limited practice. But you never know. I keep going forward, try to keep myself in position in case he overshoots a corner or does something crazy. And uh, I can be there to take advantage of it. Also up quite a bit the back stretch with the draft. Nothing else, it was a uh, relatively clean race for me by road racing standards, given the class in the car. Certainly not the cleanest road race I've run, but I'm gonna feel like for what I could have done in the car, certainly cleaner, and that's the mistake I was talking about. That's why I was still digging. He loses it off the corner and I'm able to move up. Now there is no reason to push it, because I don't want to lose it myself. Two and a half seconds up on the 18. We've got a caution flag. Let's see if there's any more spots we can gain. Looks like it's clear you've got the four who's pretty slow. Not sure if I'll be able to get by him. Certainly going to try to see if I can get there, but not push it. Doesn't look like I'll be able to get to him before the end of the race. But uh, should bring it home in eighth place. So certainly a much better finish than I thought it would be. Wow, wow, wow. Did not expect to go from 18th all the way up to 8th by just avoiding Rex. Uh, I guess that's not really all that much different from a rookie Mazda race in a sense, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, that was certainly a lot of fun for me, and like I said, I will. don't know if I'll buy any tracks for the rest of this season, but I will uh, certainly be uh, running more of these, and if you guys enjoyed it, I can look at running it uh, half-time or, or full-time next season. To get a little bit of left rear damage out of that but uh certainly a lot of fun so um 
Let's see if the results are up. Not sure if they'll be up. Car sounds pretty wicked too. Uh, that that sounds pretty cool for for how slow it is. Over, you know, it's not being the same engine as a as an Indy car. Yeah, they're not up. So let's uh, take a look at incidents while we are going. I actually, you know what? The start's gonna be the thing to watch. That start was just absolutely ridiculous. So um, let's do let's do the far chase. So a lot of guys should have been girded here. Should have been girded there. A lot of guys were starting from the pits. Um, so that's let's see who comes flying in and where he comes from. So. Grid's not even done. That is the 23. He just all of a sudden takes off on the inside. Then everybody goes. I, I don't know what was going on there or what he's trying to accomplish, but blowing three wide on the inside going into turn one's not going to be the most advisable thing. Um, he actually does a fairly good job of staying off. Unfortunately, he's going to get wrapped up in this incident here where you've got the nine getting on the curb, losing it, probably picked up the throttle too hard coming off. Uh, the uh, coming too hard on the throttle out of turn one, and he's gonna drill. Uh, I believe that is the six that he gets, and then the six will get into the 23. So the 23 for all of that ends up going way to the back and doesn't get anything. But again, let's go back to the rest of what I saw and watch the start because that was just crazy. Alright, so watch the 23 go blasting on by, which is the Einstein that that driver's referring to. Then all of a sudden, uh, let's go up and watch the 5 just all of a sudden lose it. I mean, I, I dropped the clutch a little too quick and spun tires, but he just loses it and I think he's trying to get up in the you know out of first and, and just absolutely loses it and spins right out into the uh, 2. Eight comes flying and drills the two, sends him flying in the air. Two's bouncing all over the track. Got a couple guys piling through and then people losing it. And then all of a sudden the five rolls back and drills the 12 and gets flipped over. So let's again watch this from my perspective. I, this is just, I do just absolutely crazy altogether. Excuse me, wrong direction. All right, so. I could see him lose it. They go to the right-hand side, so I'm thinking the left-hand side is going to be the better way to go. I see him get blasted in the air by the eight. Then all of a sudden, I got the five coming back across. The two's rolling around, so I basically just stopped and prayed that nobody would get into me. And then finally got rolling. Then you've got the five who's just rolling all over who rolls in front of the 22, and then I go. So the guys that started from the pit road didn't have the worst idea, but... I think I was still able to pick up from them, and then this was the calamity there from the 23 and the uh, the 9. So we get going. So that was just wow. That was that was one crazy start. I yeah, crazy crazy start. So results are up pretty weak strength of field. Uh, it was fourth was fourth split like I thought out of six. 1448. So I think uh, just right around me basically. Um, but yeah, managed to. Uh, pick up 10 spots was not actually the big runner out of that looks like my guess would be the 21 picking up uh 17 spots there uh fast lap was just under a second off um probably could have been a little bit faster had i you know not had a little bit of damage and, and been able to stay in a draft a little bit longer but certainly you know that was i wasn't going to get a ton faster without a ton more practice so fortunately five incidents but very few looks like only one car had zero and not too many had less than than that so um able to gain 37 i rating uh, 0.21 on the safety or 0.11 on the safety excuse me so just under 2.3 can take a while to uh, get up to a b license but certainly just trying to learn rotaries and keep it clean and, and do the best that i can but that was was definitely a lot of fun um certainly not the finish i expected i was just hoping to beat 15th uh, and avoid madness and definitely did a good job of that and catching a lot of benefits out of it so hopefully you guys enjoyed that feel free to leave any feedback if you've driven this and you've got any driving tips by all means feel free to share those uh if you enjoyed it and just want to leave a comment and you want to see me run that more let me know too love hearing from you guys in, in any form so uh hopefully you enjoy that and stay tuned for more races and until the next one hopefully all your laps are fast your races are clean and your finishes are good thanks for watching